This is Bill at Highland Hole Farm, and today we're going to be doing some mouse control. And on our farm, we have a lot of areas where there are mice. Today, we're going to be using some creamy peanut butter and cheese as bait. And we're going to set 25 traps and see how we do. We're going to use the creamy peanut butter and cheese. Now, this is a four-poster deer feeder on our farm. This feeder helps us control the lime tick on deer. And next to it, I have placed a tray of cake. And I put that there specifically to see if mice would be feeding at it. And if you look closely, you can see a lot of mouse turds. So this is a place where I'm going to put a couple of mouse traps. In fact, I put two right here. And about 20 feet from this deer feeder is this old truck. So I thought I'd put a couple traps underneath that truck to see how they perform. In the fields adjacent to the deer feeder, we grow a lot of spruces. And it's an excellent place for mice to harbor and find little burrows. And walking through the fields after we've cleaned up some trees from the Christmas tree season, we've seen a lot of mouse activity. So I also thought this would be a good place to place a couple of traps. So I put two traps right here. And it's only a foot or two away from another mouse den where there's a little nest. So it should be a good location for trapping mice. Again, there's a lot of evidence with tracks all over this particular spot. So it should be a fairly rich area to capture mice. I placed a lot of traps around some outdoor storage areas where we have pots of plants stored for the winter. It becomes a great place for mice to hide, so I figured this would be a good location. And also nearby is a barn, and underneath the barn there's a lot of equipment stored, so I figured this too would be an excellent spot to try and capture mice. Mice are actually the largest killer of trees and shrubs on our farm, even more so than deer. I don't hunt deer anymore because I've shot enough of them. If you want to come to the farm and shoot deer, we do have a hunter access program for deer hunters. Inside one of our greenhouses, I placed a bunch of traps. I figured this would be a good spot to monitor. Inside this greenhouse, I actually have a deadfall trap for mice to see if that works as well. I placed a lot of traps inside this greenhouse, and as you'll see when we get back, the results of what happened after one day of these mice traps being placed in strategic locations around our farm. This morning I went out to check my deer feeder. At the deer feeding station, one trap was missing and one dead mouse was found. Checking underneath the pickup truck, I found two dead mice trapped. In the location where there were a lot of mice runs and nests, none of the traps had been, been snapped. So I will take these two traps over and put them by the deer bait station because that seems to be a lucrative place for capturing mice. In the area outdoors where we store pots, I thought we'd really do well, and I was totally wrong. We captured no mice there and there was no mouse activity whatsoever. However, under the barn, one of the traps had been sprung but it didn't successfully capture a mouse. The last area where I had placed traps was inside one of our greenhouses. I thought for sure this would be a lucrative place to capture mice, but we do have a lot of rat baits and mouse bait stations inside the greenhouse, so it wouldn't surprise me if I didn't get very many mice. And sure enough, traveling through the greenhouse, we only found one trap missing, but no trapped mice. At our Fountainville farm, we encourage natural controls for mice. 
and we like to have a lot of birds. And in doing so, we have a bird box program where we ask people to send us or bring their unwanted or unused bird boxes. Our Fountainville farm has over 500 bird boxes on it. These are the three mice killed at Highland Hill Farm by using the traps. We prefer to use birds and foxes to control the mouse population. This video is brought to you by Highland Hill Farm, a grower of large trees and shrubs in Fountainville, PA.